Welcome to second service of today. The second Sunday of the month of June. Today is the 11th day of June 2023. You are welcome back to this episode of dealing with the matters of darkness. And today, we are coming to you from two platforms. We are live on two platforms. We are live on We are live on Facebook on two platforms of Facebook profile. We are live on Beautiful Gate International Christian Center. We are live on Pastor Osman's Beautiful Gate Assembly. And I welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to share this message and you will be blessed beyond measures. Even if you don't want to share, comment. Comment, comment, and the Lord will bless you immensely. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the heaven reach you even as I minister this message to you, dealing with the matches of darkness. Today's title is Beware of Strange Businesses. Beware of strange businesses. As we are saying, there are so many businesses that are springing up here and there. Most of these businesses are traps against the people of God. Traps against humanity. Make sure that you don't allow yourself to be tricked into such businesses that will destroy you. May God help you to overcome in the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. Today, as we are saying, the Lord is not happy with many who run about things that are supposed to come after they have done the right thing. They run after them. They run after them. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Good measures, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. This is the word of God. When you follow God and his instructions, you will always succeed. You will always make it. No matter the hindrances, God will remove the hindrances. As most of you under the sound of my voice, we experience this week and experience this month. This young man or young woman that is online watching, I can see you from Beautiful Gate International Christian Center. I can see some of you from Pastor Osman Beautiful Gate Assembly. As you are watching, this marks the beginning of a turnaround in your life. This marks the beginning of God intervening in your life so that things that are beautiful will begin to happen in your life so that you will not be pushed into going the way of the wicked ones. I want us to go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 5. Remember, the day you were created, God created you with a lot of beautiful things. But because we decided to go our own ways, we are not making it the way God wants us to make it. And so we want to make it on our way. And most at times, suddenly we see ourselves in a ditch, in a hole, in, in a deep sheet that we cannot even dream of coming out of it, except the Lord inter intervenes. But I thank God that God is always there to help those who want help from him. He will not force himself on you. He will always want to help you if you allow him, if you give him that opportunity. And that is why we call on you. So I'm not going to say repent because this repentance is, is, I mean, is spiritual. You can say, I want to repent today. But in that process, you don't mean it. But I pray that God will make you to repent. I pray that God will turn you to himself so that you not derail. Chasing after shadow. Things that you made 
you made it to be scarce from you. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding them or withholding good things from you. Our sins are responsible for why we are not receiving the things we are expected to receive from God. Because the day God created us in his own image and likeness, he created things that will make us happy on this earth. But our iniquities, our sins, have prevented these good things from coming to us. May God in his infinite mercy remove that gulf of sin in our lives so that good things will begin to come. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Verse 26 of Jeremiah chapter 5, he said, For among my people are found wicked men. Among the people of God. These are not among Satan, uh, among heathens. Jesus, God himself, he said, Among my people are found wicked men. They lay weight on daily basis. They harass people on daily basis. They will come to you and tell you, I will deal with you. I will show you who I am made of. Yes, I know who you are made of. You are made of Satan. I know. But greater is he that is in me than that Satan that is speaking through your voice. I will deal with you. The lay wait as he does set up snares. They set traps for men to fall in. They set traps for their fellow brothers and sisters to fall in. These are people we call our beloved ones. In your own heart, you take them as your own brothers and sisters and friends. And all kinds of things that you, you can think of, beloved. But the Bible said, they are full of wickedness in their hearts. Their hearts are full of wickedness. They lay siege against humanity. They set a trap and they catch men and women. Wicked men, even among God's people. These are not outside, within us. Very close to us. Very close. There are Many people among my people that are very wicked. They lay wait and set traps for men and women to catch them. My people are infiltrated by wicked men. Some of them came. You will not know. They sneak in as though they are friends, but they just sneaked in. To one disguise or the other. Eh? They infiltrated by wicked men, or scrupulous men on the hunt. They have become hunters of souls. These are marchers of darkness. What are their merchandise? Their merchandise include your soul, your destiny, your happiness. Your peace of mind. They come to take them away from you. They come to hand over your soul to Satan. Who sent them in the first place? They are there in your life. To link you up. To where you will be destroyed. But you know what? God is going to fight for us. God is going to fight for us. In this part to be. Of dealing. With the matches of darkness, God will expose them. If there's anyone among you, if there's anyone doing one business or the other with you, may the thunder of God locate them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There shall be no hiding place for them. Are they among your household? Are they members of your family? They want you dead when God has not finished with you on this earth. My father, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel, May he that diggeth a pit for your children fall inside it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
The Bible said they are hunters of souls. They are hunters of peace. They want to take peace away from you. They want to take joy away from you. They want to take anything that brings joy away from you. They want to make you sad all days of your life. But you know what? God is going to disconfit their plans. To disconfit them, disgrace them, and you know what? Expose them by fire, by thunder. They set traps for the unsuspecting ones. Traps. They said this one. They, they doesn't even know me. He is going to fall into this trap. But you know what? God will detonate their traps. God will detonate their traps. And the same trap they set against you will catch them. Their victims are innocent men and women. Their houses are stuffed with ill-gotten gain. And so they want to use those monies, those ill-gotten Ill -gotten wealth, ill-gotten experiences from the kingdom of darkness. They want to use them against you. But remember that you are a child of light. And where light is, darkness cannot comprehend. They are like a hunter's bag full of birds. You know what I mean by birds? Witches and wizards. Pretentious and powerful and rich, hugely obese. You see, many of them are even obese. You see them with their big tummies, fat bank accounts. Their bank accounts are obese. Their business empires are obese. They are even obese, oily with rows of fatness. When you see them, you say, Yes, this man is blessed, brother. Beware, be careful. All those things are just traps to cajole you into the kingdom of darkness and to make you buy their ways the merchandise of darkness. Beware of businesses that you don't know how. It fetches such huge amount of money. You are exchanging that money that you are getting those Business here. You are exchanging it with your destiny. You are exchanging it with your life. You are exchanging that thing that those ex exchange is is an exchange. They make you get those millions. You will not have peace. It's not a cost. It is in the Bible. You will not have peace because those things are not coming from the author of peace. Joy will be far from you. Brother, it's not a curse. I am reading the word of God. And God is not here to make a mess of you. He wants you to come out from those despicable connections that you think you have. They are worse. Worse. They have no conscience at all. They are worse than Satan. Today, all our prayers is Holy Ghost try a bone set and that bone set. But that Satan you are fighting is very close to you. Very close to you. May God open your eyes to see them. Sometimes, when your eyes are open, suddenly you just see somebody that you have been with for a long time. It's your father, your mother, your, your son, and all of a sudden, God opens your eyes to see pot on his head. Pot burning with fire. That is the cauldron through which they take the flesh of man. Through which they take away happiness from human beings. God will just open your eyes. You see them carry on their shoulders. A burning pot, boiling pot. You see smoke coming out of that. Just it comes like a flash. Sometimes God reveals those things in a dream. Sometimes you see somebody that you know you will just stand. I use something to cover his or her face. And sometimes when you see it, maybe in a dream or something, you'll be wondering who that one is. You'll be pointing accusing fingers to wrong directions, not knowing that what is doing you is there in your household. May God expose that uncle 
May God expose that auntie. May God expose that business partner that want to take you and make pepper soup in their pots of destruction. May God expose them by fire. And if you believe it, type amen, shout amen, type amen, and share this message seven times, and it shall be perfected. Seven is the number of perfection. They stand for nothing. Eh? Right and wrong mean nothing to them. When you say you are right, when you say you are wrong, they don't care. All they do is that they stand for nothing. They stand up for no one. They don't want to be of help to anybody. Even if they want to help, they are looking for something greater than the help they are rendering. They throw offers to the wolves. Can you imagine? They cast offers to the wolves to destroy them. The ones they harvest their parts are orphans. People who have no mom, no dad. They harvest their parts, they kill them, seeing that no one will challenge them. That no one will challenge them. The other day I saw a family of three boys, a housemaid that was brought by their mother. So look after their aged mother. Do one of or two house chores for them. These two grown up old men began to rape this young girl. The girl has no father, no mother, no brother to help. Even if there's another one to help, that one will not be willing to help. And they hired her to be a housemaid. All that they give to her is the food that fell from their tables, the crumbs, the remainders of food, and they will give to this girl. And then when they were asked where they were doing it, they said, they were doing everything to, we are clothing her, we are three brothers raping one small girl. And they have the gods to give reasons why they are raping her. In Nigeria, the Bible said that among my people, these people go to church, you know. They go to mosques. They claim to be religious. Some of them, they claim to be academicians. And God said, among my people are wicked men. Wicked men. Wicked men. They throw offers to wolves. Exploit the poor. Do you think I will stand by and do nothing about this? This is God saying that He will recompense evil and tribulation to them that trouble us. How else would you want God to show that He loves you? He is willing to fight our battles for us, He is willing to fight our battles for us. God's decree, this is what God is saying. Don't you think I will take serious measures against the people like this? Eh? People that set up a cage that is full of birds. Eh? So are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they have become great, wealthy, and waxing rich. They carry bullion vans, trailers to carry money. Trailers, they use it to carry money. And nothing will happen. Nothing. Now, these guys, they carry trailers of destroyed money to the central bank governor of Nigeria. They wanted to change that thing there, but the man said no. Yesterday, just yesterday, all hell was let loose on him. They carried destroyed money, the money they, 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 they confiscated and stored in their homes. Those monies were rotten, torn. And when this central bank governor wanted to change to recover those monies, they couldn't take, they were making negotiations with him. 
so that they can destroy, get new money equivalent to those monies they destroyed. And this man said no. And they're now tagging him as a terrorist, as a sponsor of terrorism, because he comes from the tribe that is hated, hated all over the world, hated by, by Nigerians. The tribe of God, the Jewish tribe in Israel, the Biafran people. They went after him even when he wanted, they suspended him, he did not mind. He wanted to even go outside. And, ah, they followed him. I was told that he was caught on the bandit. But you know that by the time you dine with these matters of darkness, you cannot go scot free. You are going to, there to expose them. You want to run out? No, don't run. Why are you running? No, no, no. Why are you running? Wait for the ant that you collected for yourself. When you were doing all these things with them, did, did you not know that they would come after you? They gave you the ideas of what to do with these things. If you knew that your conscience would not carry you to the end, you would have resigned a long time. And then you waited. The thing was becoming so sweet to you. Ah, you are enjoying the world. You would have resigned earlier, even the time they were asking for you, your head. And remember, it was like a rumor. But now, a young man has been, has been hired to carry it out. But because they will not carry it out themselves. They want to blame it on the South. They did it before. They did it before. They used some Westerners to deal with Igbos before, after the war. A man called Obafemi Awolowo was used as well to starve the children of Biafra, over three million of them to death, when he was the finance minister. And now many of them that have his DNA all over, they are ready to do the same yeoman's job. And they have hired Chief uh, Noob again to do it. By fire, by force, even when he did not win an election. They said, I now see him. At least within one month or two months, he will be able to do our business. Deal with this, this, this people called Biafra. These evil boys, deal with them and then uh, at least where you stop, another person will come to, to, to do our business. And Uncle Bart is doing it comfortably well. Even when the court case is still on, merchants of darkness, they are everywhere. Some of you are today answering different names connected to this merchandise of darkness. You think by the day they will fall, you will not fall. You will fall along with them. Central Bank governor has been captured, treated like a common criminal, taken to the dungeon, is now in the same cell with armed robbers, murderers, hired assassins. That's where he is. Those things don't last. They don't last. Beware of these businesses. When they come your way, do not just think that it is God bringing them. Ask God, are you behind this thing? If you know you cannot swim with them so that all of you will enter into a hell fire together at the same time. Don't even immediately you realize that uh, this is evil. Run away, run for your life. That's why I respected or I respect one man called um, uh, Major, uh, God remind me his name. He was one time Kaduna State Governor. Governor, yeah, 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 something. Or uh, somebody, Aminu. He was one time Kaduna State Governor. At the time, he realized that things that they were doing were, were, was not right. This person was not even a Christian. <laughs> he was a Muslim. Those of you that condemn, yes. Jesus, the word of God says that Jesus is the only way through which man can reach God. But there are still people on the other clients, on the other religions, whom God will want to direct them to the right route.
This guy, when he saw that what was going on in the system was wrong as a sitting governor, he decided to resign and go for a course. Uh, how can governor go for it? He said he wants to go to read one thing or the other. Governor, you're going for it. Ah, I'm going. The guy went to England to go and read. Came to England to go and read. What's this guy's name? Yahaya or something? Colonel Yahaya Madaki. Or Yahaya something. Or Yohana. No, Yahaya Madaki. He went to do course and he never returned back. They carried the office of governor, gave to another person. He said, please, somebody should be there. I'm going to read. He disappeared. He never went back again. I'm sure he must have tendered his res resignation from wherever he said he was doing course. He resigned, wrote to them and said, please, you people can carry on with this merchandise of, bis merchandise of darkness business. I don't want to be part of this merchants of darkness. He escaped for his life. So many people resign like that. And today he's living a happy man, practicing law in Nigeria. When those re that, that regime passed, he went back, tendered his, uh, <laughs> tendered his uh, retirement uh, paper and living peacefully. General Dia began to romance with them. And they came after him. A whole general. Major, major, a junior officer. Sergeants were talking to him and slapping him like rubbish. Because he went too close to the merchants of darkness. He went too close there. They arrested him, locked him up, charged them. So many of them that time. And they wanted to fire them. The day they wanted to fire them, God intervened. <laughs> God intervened. God intervened. Somebody told me recently that his kinsmen from the Jebu in Nigeria, they went, they are women, And their men, they went, they went berserk. They said, this thing will not happen to our, our, our son. A general, a whole general, captured by a major, captured by a sergeant, tormented in public. And now they're about to, the morning they wanted to shoot, to shoot the dead. The person who said, who was at the helm of that cabal, was pronounced dead. Till today, nobody can explain how Abacha died. And because of that, they were running helter skater. They released this. Story. And this man, they borrowed like, they ran like Karl Marx. They ran away from power. Hey, this match has, the only thing that, because before they said they were going to, they have already dismissed him. They ran. Nobody heard about this. I just heard that the general idea just died last month or so. May his soul rest in perfect peace. He ran around to church, went to the four square gospel church, and trained as a pastor, and he became a pastor. By fire, by force. <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> Who told you you can hide from God? You can't. If God wants to use you, he will pick you from, 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 from the danger zone where the enemy wants you to be. Pick you from there. Brush you up. Mm. That guy was a believer until he died. He just died recently. General. I think he died at the age of 71 or 72. After suffering for your nation, you will be hiding because you rob mice with merchants of darkness. Nations as a uh, are selling this merchandise of darkness. Nations, countries, prime ministers, presidents. I thank God for, 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 for some, some of our radical leaders. Somebody like uh, Julius Malema in South Africa. They will cite this thing and they will begin to shout. They have come again or they have come again.
Russia man called uh, Vladimir Putin. He said, no, 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 we cannot allow this thing to continue. This thing, we must detonate and dismantle this, this gang up from the pit of hell. And they said, today is the day of salvation. And the Vladimir Putin said, whether we like it or not, we are going to delink from this matches of darkness. And today there's war going on that is between darkness and light. Even though we look at uh, Putin as a bad man, and uh, God can use anybody. God, you don't know. Is it the church that God will use to fight? No, he will use somebody who matches their own weapons. Weapon for weapon. Brain for brain. Radicalism for radicalism. And uh, who will stand in the church and say this one is bad. And you see, some pastors that are rubbing minds with these matters of darkness, they borrowed legs in Ukraine. They were running like madness. Running, hiding under bunkers. The Bible says those things that you gather out of the foundations of darkness, they will all crumble and crush. A storm will come against them and you will see them no more. Even those that gather them, even those foundations will be seen no more. That is the word of God. Some of them were crying from, <laughs> from train stations. Hey, Putin wants to kill us. Hey, Putin is chasing us. Putin has been looking for Who are you that Putin will look? You know who Putin is? A pastor, Putin is looking for you. How, how? How? Is he a member of your church? No. How is he looking for you? Because you rub minds with matches of darkness. Now the storm has come. And then you are complaining. And God told us that whether you like it or not, all those foundations that are not of God shall be pulled down. Shall be pulled down. I don't care how you feel anyway. <laughs> this pastor is talking rubbish. That's your opinion. Are you hearing me? That is your opinion. That is... That is... There is treasure in every trash. If you look well, even if my message is rubbish to you, some people will pick treasurable words from my message today. And that will stand for them or against them on the last day. If they hacken or they refuse to hacken to the message of today, on the last day, this message will be played back to them. Run away from every appearance of evil. Thessalonians chapter 5. Flee. In Thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 18, he said flee from every appearance. Flee. Flee means is 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 even stronger than flying. Flee, fleeing, <laughs> like light, speed of light. But fly, you can fly small, 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 small. But flee, ha! The Bible says, flee from every appearances of evil. For these matches of darkness, they are there, not to help you, but to destroy you. All that glitters is not gold. Those businesses that they flash on your forehead, flash on your faces, flash in your brain, flash in your mind, and then you begin to calculate some millions you make within 20, within two years or 20 days. Within 20 days, you would have been a, a billionaire. <laughs> Beware. Beware. Because this is end time. This is end time, man. This is end time. They will tell you to go and bring the pint of your, your wife's pints so that you can use it. Beware. Every action has a reaction. There are consequences for every action we take on this earth. Either good consequence or bad consequence. But there are consequences. Once you throw a cricket ball, Throw it against a wall, it will bounce back on you. 
Other it flows, man, some of them will come straight to your heart. Throw it like this, it will come to you. Sometimes that ball will push the thrower down. Be careful. All that glitters is not gold. Verse 28. They are waxing fat every day. They shine. They wear all kinds of Maori shoes. Wrist watches what? Thousands of pounds and dollars. Shoes. All they do is to come and display shoes. To come and display cars. Some of them are using cars as toys. Cars worth $250 million. $250,000. They use it as toy in their palace. They use it as toys in their garage. They don't use them. They just say, ah, I am, I, 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 I my hobby is to gather spec cars, vintage cars. When you go to their garages, you see vintage cars. They, they are not used. Yet, there are people around them that are going hungry. Brothers, sisters, relations of one kind or the other, Friends, those who suffered with them when they were in primary school, secondary school, but they have met court members who introduced them to these merchandise and businesses of darkness. And now they are making money, buying chrome cars, vintage cars, packing them without being used. Going out and carrying people's wives destroying homes and families, distributing sicknesses and diseases. Even when they use, they use protection on you to sleep with you. Through that protection, they have taken what they want to take spiritually from you and damage you. And then they give you a few millions of, 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 of naira. They will not even give you millions of pounds. They, they, don't, they don't even have it. <laughs> They, they will just be posing. Because when these Illuminati people, when they give you money, they give you they, they can give you one, two million pounds, and they want you to spend it within one week. So what will you do? Go and buy cars, buy houses with it. Uh -huh. So that the money will finish. Because if you don't finish them within one week, then something bad will happen to you. That's how they do it. That's how they make these monies. There are groups who are give them some hundreds of like 500,000 pounds. So they, you must use it for this weekend. Use it Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They won't know what to do with it. They'll go and look for watch, list watch. They are looking for markets. People who have these expensive things. So that that money will finish. Because if it doesn't finish, you either pay with your life or you, you will give them one of your children. So then you must finish it. And if you are in Nigeria, we are, <laughs> when you change those things into Naira, it, it will turn to like sand. You will be using trailers to carry those monies. And when you want to pass through the bank, central bank, they will catch you. So that you know the reason why they arrested uh, this man called uh, Mephele or whatever they call that man. He wanted to be righteous at the end. They want to pass through He's through the banks, billions. You know, they are monitoring banks. Ah, the bank manager will say, no, let me discuss with the uh, central bank. When they come to you, say, no, 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 no. You want to run, eh? Okay, they will come after you now. You started it with them. You will end it. Oh. Now you are in, the, in their dungeons. I saw the man when he was boarding plane yesterday. Oh my God, the guy looks frail. 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 I believe he has been thinking of how to escape from those traps. The Bible said that they set traps. They set these traps and you can't escape it. Wicked men among, among us. Wicked, very wicked. Hmm? And when they catch you, no more peace, no... That's why sometimes when I see, <laughs> I was looking at Peter B, watching some of his uh, some of the uh, material evidence evidences that they brought to court, he, he was not looking at those things and smiling and laughing. Not many of them can even go there to smile. They are still in their closet, their covers, manipulating things. 
They said, don't show face there. Even if they show face there, they show face in anger. Even if they come there, they show their face in anger. You will see how angry they are. You will know that they are not joking, that they are passing through pains. Honestly. But this guy, this young, young man was just laughing. He was laughing at his, the evidences. <laughs> Look at these evidences. How, how can these matters of darkness deny this? Okay, we'll see how they will rule over these cases. With all these incriminating evidences, he, he will just be laughing and smiling. He said the highest thing they can do is to do the same thing they did to, uh, uh, to Donald Trump in America. The, that's the highest. After all, they did it to Donald Trump. So they can also come and do it here. Because whatever they do, they replicate, they replicate it. People must be backing them. Go ahead and do whatever. We are behind you. We are all fellow merchants of darkness with you. That's what they will tell them. So go ahead. We are dispatching some, some people to come and you know back you up in your swearing in. And they dispatched and they came and he's been sworn in. So start dealing with those people who want to block our our our, our way in this in these nations. When they finish with Nigeria, they will go to Kenya. That uh, brother Ruto in Kenya, they will start with him. Then they will cross to South Africa. That one, I don't know how they are going to deal with that one. Because Julius Malema is there. They say, ah, Putin will not come to South Africa. You are in your own country trying to detect evil in another country. Marchers of darkness. Marchers of darkness. Very soon they will be coming to your homes. Oh, no, no, no. You cannot be going to your, your destino. No, 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 no. Don't preach the word. In your own home, in your own house, don't preach. I remember some years ago, we were praying. In the night, and all of a sudden, we have on the uh, in, on the uh, in, on the windows. Ah, what is going on? Ah, we, we went out. Who, who is that? We, I opened the door. They were these guys, and they pushed in about seven of them with the uniform. What are you looking for? What are you doing? What? I said we are praying. Oh, somebody called us that you are fighting. Can you imagine? But I was having my Bible in my hand. I said, okay, we'll go and wait outside. Thank God, sir. They, they, they reasoned well. We'll go and wait outside until you pray finish. Eh? And then we started praying, praying, praying. When I looked through the windows, they were still there. About seven of them. Uniformed men. How come that praying has become fighting? Eh? Highest thing we can do is Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. And when the fire starts burning, people will be calling <laughs> calling people to come and rescue them from fire. And then when they were outside, we began to release fire very well. Fire, Holy Ghost fire to the east, west, north and south. Wherever these matters of darkness are hiding, near me, oh, Holy Ghost fire. Consume them. Consume them. <laughs> We did it until about 2 a.m. And then when they could not hear our voices again, fire, fire, and they left. Maybe they were hanging on case there is fire, physical fire, so that they would <laughs> Hey, these people, may God open our eyes to see what God has for us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible said in verse 28 of Jeremiah chapter 5, they are waxing fat. They are shining. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They, they even do worse than the one we call the wicked man. They judge not the cause. The cause of the fatherless. They don't consider that at all. Yet, they prosper. And the right of the needy, do they not consider Shall I not visit for these things? Verse 29, said the Lord. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? 
a wonderful and horrible thing is being committed in the land all over the world. Eh? All speakable, sickening things are going on in the world. The prophets prophesy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means, whatever they like, the, the politicians. And my people love to have it so. Can you imagine? Some of them are becoming, <laughs> they are becoming, a, what do they call them now? They call them a queen of the coast. So they are becoming a queen mothers. Queen mother. Queen, queen fathers. Can you imagine? The Bible said, my people, they love these false things. And what will you do in the end thereof? Just to keep quiet? No. God says we cannot just keep quiet. Even if men keep quiet, God will not keep quiet. Even if men keep quiet, God says he will not keep quiet. Are you hearing me? If you tolerate those things, God will not tolerate them. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8. The word of God. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8. The word of God. Mm. Verse 8 of Ephesians chapter 5. For you were sometimes darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, brother. Let us walk as children of light. We have seen what darkness looks like. No, even if you are born with golden spoon, not everybody in your community was born with golden spoon. At least you have seen what darkness looks like. Even if you flew from the righteous heaven to the righteous ground, which I don't think there's any place that is righteous. Because many people will be claiming, I was born into Christianity. I was born into religion. We don't do bad things. Hey, we don't. But when you check that person very well, <laughs> but we, have, we, we don't even have right to check. But God is seeing all the crooked ways of your life and your family. Now, you want to claim that you are the righteous one, that if they check anywhere, they will not see anything wrong with you. Thank God for that. But the Bible said, let him that stands, let him that stands, stand, lest he fall. Lest he falls. If you think you are righteous, be righteous more. Be righteous still. If you are wicked, run away from wickedness. It does not pay. God is not happy with men who are tagged as wicked men. If God tags you as a wicked person, you are in trouble. You are what? In trouble. You are in trouble. For you we are once in darkness, but now you have light from the Lord. Walk as children of light. You grappled your way through that mock darkness before, but you are no longer there. Why not continue with the path of light? Huh? You are out in the open now. You have been set free. Why don't you maintain your freedom from the kingdom of darkness? The bright light of Christ makes your way plain. So no more stumbling around. No more jumping from pillar to post. You are looking for miracles. Your friend is now a millionaire. Yet, 
He cannot give you part of it. And now you are nothing. You want to even surpass your friend. Eh? The bright light of Christ makes you makes your way plain. No more stumbling block on your way. So no more stumbling around. Get on with it, brother. The good, the right, the true. These are the actions that are appropriate for daylight hours. Figure out what will please Christ and then do it. You know what God hates. Don't do it. You know what God loves. Do it. And God will be happy with you. And God will give you peace and happiness and joy. And your family will begin to swim in peace and in happiness. Now, let me tell you. Wealth or riches is not contained within the material things of this world. More so, peace, joy, happiness, freedom from darkness is much more than the wealth of this world. And those who are wealthy in bondage, wealthy in bondage, know that these things are things that will soon pass away. But heaven and earth may pass away. But the word of God remains sure. Every child of God that wants to have peace, look unto God. Looking unto God. The author and the finisher of our faith. Psalms 1 to 1. Looking unto God. Looking unto God. Psalms 121. May it work in your life. May it work for you. And David says, after hearing the word in my spirit, after hearing this message, speak like David. Behave like David. Every day you see David rolling. This is a man after God's heart. He's always rolling himself on the ground. Any day he does wrong, he will not claim to be righteous, placating and covering his sins. No, he will just expose it in one way or the other. He will be rolling on the ground and telling God, hey, I have sinned against you. Be merciful unto me. And in Psalm 1 to 1, David said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Ugudinsa. From whence cometh my help? And he said, My help cometh from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. Are you trusting the Lord that made the heavens and the earth for your help? Or you are putting your trust in man? That is where the problem emanates from. You will pay dearly if you put so much trust in yourself. Or a man. You pay so much. Because one. Man will deceive you. Even you will deceive yourself. Many of us are deceiving ourselves. Doing what we are doing. Thinking we are doing God. Some of them say. Ah, I'm not. Uh, no, no, no. I can't be born again. God is born again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Every day. Come in. Pastor. Come in. Calling us. Pray. 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 Pray, pray for what? Eh? Did the China ask people pray. Before they, they become. This one. China, they don't pray. I see somebody sending message. Queer Nigerians are praying, and Chinese people are in the factory. Of all these ones, China, as individuals in China, they remain the poorest per capita individuals in the world. Where you are in your own climate, in your own climate, Perawa. Is about ten pounds forty-two in England per hour. Per hour in China is not up to one p. Why? They love the fact 
to manufacture things that government will use to destroy the world rather than pray to God for God to transform their lives. You see them, the Anyash, the bombs of a Chinese man. Have you ever seen a Chinese woman's bomb? You, you, <laughs> you will laugh sometimes. When you pass through them, you look, you, you don't know, is it a man or a woman? Both front and back crashed. Why? They don't pray. Even if they want to pray, they pray to a different God entirely, which is not the God that created the heavens and the earth. You see them everywhere, all over the world, everywhere. All they're doing is kuri 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 things, things that, you know, dodgy things. Yet, the bomb will not come out. And so somebody was mocking, and he had to join Nigeria uh, 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 churches praying and join with the uh, Chinese uh, factory men. And he said, in Africa, people are praying for God to help them. In China, people are in the factory manufacturing things that will help them. That African pray preachers and prayer people are useless and stupid people. And that Chinese people are wise and rich and wealthy. My friend, we have come together and then we know the difference. <laughs> we know the difference. So don't preach that thing to us. We have seen them. We have come together. They respect us. Because at least by the time you see our bomb, our nyash is good. Compared to their own. They are always praying for God to make their nyash to be like African people's nyash. They are praying to God to make them wear the kind of suit that Africans wear. They are praying to God to have the kind of peace that Africans have. Africa, they eat good food, cooked food. They eat raw food because there will be no money to buy electricity to cook that. So they eat it raw. They eat it raw. Those things that you don't eat, you throw away. That, that's what they eat. You will come and tell me that they've manufactured all this. They only bring fake things, manufacture fake things to come and kill you the more. Put plastic in all the foods they manufacture. Bring it to you, you eat. And in the next few minutes, your body will begin to reflect a different thing. So, when you call unto God, whether you have food or not, you still have peace. You still have peace. How can you, how can, how can you force people to be in the factory? all day long, yet you will not give them food to eat. You will not pay them. It's by fire, by force. They are running a communist government, communist uh, society. Communists, the people work out what the government uses. And the people who are working them out, they don't have anything to eat. They don't have anything to eat. So, when you compare Find out, do your research, and know who and who are better off. God loves Africa. God loves this flesh, black people. Because many of us who have not denied God. And those of them that are denying Christ, they are just doing that to their own peril, following the merchants of darkness. Many of Africans are trying to become gays. Somebody told me yesterday, chatted me, that the Suka people are becoming gays in Lagos. Becoming homosexuals in Lagos. They want to make money too. I said, ah, why in Suka people? He said, all the Igbos, but at least have that she had noticed the Suka people. I said, eh? It's strange, oh. Yes. Beware of strange businesses. That is how this message came about. They are giving them strange businesses. And they are accepting those businesses. 
And one of the rules is that you must become a gay before you can succeed in those businesses. And many of them have become homosexuals in order for their businesses to move on. And tomorrow, they become I money, E money, B money, internet money, audio money. Did you hear me? Beware. They are everywhere. These businesses are so close to you. You may not know whether they will bring that business close to you this week. But my prayer for you is that God will open your eyes to see them. If you believe me, say amen. If you believe me, type amen. Just type amen. And share this message seven times. And subscribe to this channel. Subscribe. Watch me. If you like my face, if you don't like my face, don't watch. Don't watch so that you will not be bitter. But if you watch, the word of God will make you happy. You'll be happier than you ever expected. May it be so to you and your family. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And if the church believes it, they will shout a better amen. Receive it. And may God bless you. are going out and they are coming in. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth.